Steph Strickler with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent. I am joined now by someone from Deloitte to talk very specifically about what's going on in the C-suite. So I'd like to introduce you right now to the Managing Director, Market Offering Lead for C-suite AI, Diego Sands. How are you doing, Diego? Hi, Steph, I'm doing great. Good to see you. Thank you so much for making the time to come down here and speak with us today. Deloitte has a very rich history with CFOs and in the finance space, and now with this global data and AI alliance that you have with AWS and others. Yes. My question to you is, how do you bring all of this together to best serve your clients' needs? Yeah, great question. Um, we spent about four months talking to clients last summer. Uh, we did a road show and we spoke to 200 clients. They wanted to understand what does Gen AI mean to my business and what solutions are we offering at the intersection of Gen AI and finance. And this was very early on. This was not even a year into Gen AI. So we learned a lot from that and they wanted specific solutions to transform the finance function. If you think about Gen AI as the disruption of knowledge work, then finance works with knowledge and it's going to be transformed from end to end. So we developed a solution that we initially called just for CFOs. And then a lot of other C-suite executives were asking us, why not me? Why not CEO? Why not CEO, right? So we launched a new product called C-suite AI uh, that really brings together Gen AI plus executive level strategic decision making. You've actually set me up uh, brilliantly for my next question. You talked about the history with CFOs expanding to CEOs and, and into the entire C-suite. Uh, Deloitte and Fortune did a survey uh, on Gen AI, specifically yeah. for CEOs, and in yeah. that survey, 79% of yeah. those CEOs said that accelerating innovation is the top use case for it. So, given that, how do you help avoid some of the pitfalls of past innovation, yes. uh, some of the trepidation that may come along with that, right. and help folks to really set a vision for maximizing uh, our profits and efficiency in the future? Yeah, that is a great question. That survey was amazing. We did it with Fortune. 79% of CEOs see Gen AI as truly transformational, and they're personally involved. Gen AI became a board level issue. It is absolutely a board level issue. Why? Because it will transform the workforce, it will transform the operating model, it'll drive innovation, and it'll bring in new operating models. So it's a fundamental business transformation that's happening that is a board level. I probably did more C-suite and board presentations in three months than I've done in the last 10 years. Uh, that level of request in terms of understanding it. So now, the solution, what is the solution that we developed? Imagine a set of specialized AI models that contain the blueprint, the institutional knowledge, the data, and the ways of working for your company. It contains your entire knowledge base for your company, and that enables executives to make better decisions to run the company, right? It's extremely powerful now with AI that we can have that level of knowledge at their fingertips with natural language, just simple natural language and we created this tool to enable them to do that. And this will be truly transformational. Now, pitfalls. Pitfalls is addressing technology only. This is an organizational change initiative because it's transformation. Uh, pitfalls would be around uh, not setting a clear vision and communicating that vision, especially in the early days of technology, where you see a lot of kind of this rough edges of the technology, a lot of the hype and those kinds of things. But if there's clarity of vision as to where the enterprise is going to go, and communicating that message and personally being involved in that, that's fundamental. Uh, this is not a set it and forget it type approach. This is personal involvement and leadership by example, and CEOs are doing that. It's fascinating to me. I'm old enough to remember the classic org structure. Yeah. Uh, you start sort of that cascading triangle, yeah. and how interesting that that CEOs and CFOs are also becoming to some degree CIOs and CTOs, right? W what we're really looking at here when you say transformative is all hands on deck in the C-suite yeah. to get the customer the value of using the cloud, using big data, and gaining those insights. I want to talk about how the role of data has evolved as a result of this. Um, Next gen AI. Yeah. It's it's the buzzword. How are data platforms evolving with AI in the forefront? Yeah, Dad, I'm glad you asked that data is fundamental, right? What's under the hood, what's the engine that's driving AI is data. Now when you think about data, it's not just structured data, 
un, uh, unstructured data, which was a big repository of untapped knowledge. Think about enterprise contracts, right? If you're doing mergers and acquisitions, then you're going to have to go to hundreds of contracts, right? There's a lot of knowledge in there that had to be taken out piece by piece. Now you have access to that because you can train a model with every single contract that you've had, right? Every single email, right? So unstructured data plus structured data. Now, multimodality is a big deal, right? So it's not just text anymore, right? It's video, it's image, it's audio, right? So it's really a complete set of extended data that we have. And the key is how do you unif how how did you unify that data for the entire enterprise, right? The other part is uh, data will be a differentiator. Unique sources of data. It's not just your enterprise data. It's marketplace data. It's third-party data marketplaces that are going to differentiate what you can do. So it is not just taking your enterprise data and doing a new way of reporting in it it is bringing a more cohesive, holistic data set that looks at the entire industry and the entire market. One of the big things that's coming is industry Gen AI platforms that will disrupt entire industries. So the value chain is changing. So data is fundamental. So the platforms to me, what I've seen is uh, much more integrated. Uh, some of the core fundamentals are really, really good. Master data management, data quality, which is always a big issue. It's a big issue, it's a big opportunity area. And then applying AI to data management. So that's super exciting, some great innovations there. Also, the movement of data and the cost of managing data. So a lot of announcements here about zero ETL, you know, excerpt, transform, and load, where you can use data without having to move it every single time or write, write code to utilize that data, right? So really, data is, is a precious asset that now can be unlocked to drive AI. You have talked about disrupting entire industries and that crystal ball, what's coming in to some degree what is already here and obviously many companies relying on Deloitte to help them navigate yes. those challenges. Yes. Diego, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you coming down here and talking. Thank you, Steph, really appreciate it. My pleasure. I'm Steph Strickland, you're watching GeekWire Studios. <laughs>